The ball and ring apparatus is an excellent demonstration to show students how thermal energy expands an object in three dimensions. It comes with an activity guide as well as a brass ball and a brass ring and they both have wooden handles so you do not have any heat conduction to your hands. For the experiment for the ball and ring apparatus you need a heat source. In this case I'm simply using a candle but a Bunsen burner does work best. And whenever you deal with open flame and heat always have uh, water or something around in case something goes wrong and it needs to be cooled down quickly. First start by showing the students how easily the ball does fit through the ring. You could even pass this around and have the kids demonstrate it themselves. Next you would light this candle or Bunsen burner and then hold this over the flame for about a minute or so until it gets nice and hot and it does expand. Okay, I've been heating this for about a minute now, so when I try to insert this into the brass ring, it does not want to go in there anymore. So then you could have the students heat the ring up, so this expands and then it will fit again, or just allow this to cool and show them how it fits in there. One thing you do not want to do, do not insert these together and heat them both up at the same time. You will get them stuck and it will not come out. This is already cooled down enough that it can fit in there. You may have heard the phrase, it's cold enough to freeze the brass balls off a monkey. Well this has nothing to do with the monkey, everything to do with the cold. And it specifically has to do with cold and pirate ships. They stored brass cannonballs in a little tray in front of the cannons called monkeys. Why they're called monkeys, I have no idea. They look nothing alike. But when they stack the brass cannonballs up in warm climate and head north, they decrease in size due to the cooling and cause the pile to destabilize and fall. The ball and ring apparatus is a fun way for students to see three-dimensional expansion due to heat. And since brass has been around for a long time, there's lots of historical anecdotes that you can link this expansion to that happened way back in the early times of history.